Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Silver 101. I'm gonna do a, a full stack silver bar video. So let's go to get this started. Here we are with a uh, Kilo, Kilo uh, Pioneer, Pioneer Mint Kilo Silver Bar. Um, I got this at a coin show. I'm guessing the vendor must have bought this from somebody and just, you know, turned around and resold it. I don't know if it, if it was that same day or another day, but doesn't matter. Uh, it's mine now. Kilo silver bar, and then um, I have a 10 ounce Monarch Precious Metals bar, and I have a 4.604 uh, ounce Virginia City. I don't know who makes this. Uh, if anyone knows out there, you know, I wouldn't mind knowing 2013 R1. I don't know if that's this is a big minted bar, big mint company, or that's somebody's personal mint. I don't know. I bought it from a, a coin dealer, coin shop years ago, years ago. I'm never going to sell this. My, you know what's funny, speaking of selling, is that uh, I don't sell my silver, which is a, you know, I mean, I mean, I sell gold. You know, if I, I'll buy and I'll sell gold, you know, I won't even think twice about it, you know. You know, depending on what the coin is, like if it was something like, oh, let's say, uh, oh, here I am trying to find something in, oh yeah, if it was something like uh, this coin, I wouldn't sell it. You know, this is obviously, uh, I don't know if you would consider it semi-numismatic, you know, or what you would consider this, but I wouldn't sell something like this or this, you know, I wouldn't sell this type of gold, uh, me personally. Uh, I may turn around and uh, sell a uh, something like this, a Britannia. Um, I would sell this, you know, if I needed to, but I would probably stick to selling something from the frac sack. We got some fractionals in here. Uh, that's a 20 francs uh, to here. 20 francs. Is that right? Yeah. And then the rest are uh, 10 thousand. I'd probably sell something like this. I wouldn't sell this little quarter ounce. That's a quarter ounce here. Let me just take off and show you. Uh, a, t a quarter ounce kangaroo. I wouldn't sell that. I don't know. Something with regards to the, uh, the purity of the gold. I'd probably sell something along the lines of one of these 20 franc coins if I really needed money. But I'd have to be in a real pinch to be sell something. Sell any of my silver or gold. Well, gold. Uh, you know, uh, maybe I'd sell something in, in here. I don't know. Uh, anyways. Um, let's get back to the silver. So the other day, I uh, not the other day, but I saw some videos on this really cool looking uh, coin. Uh, it is, it's a coin, I guess, uh, and I had to get it. So I did a little research. I mean, it took me a while when it first came out, and it says that there's limited mintage of these uh, coins, and that's not a deciding factor of me to purchase uh, something. You know, I never look at like mintage wise. I doesn't drive me to purchase or not purchase gold or silver. But I saw this and it just, the coolness factor just was through the roof. So I actually did a video about a week ago. I had my uh, block out here and I'm like, I thought about it and I'm like, you know what? I don't know how YouTube feels about like showing like actual real firearms. So I don't know, my pew pew, whatever they call it. <laughs> you know, I've seen videos, but whatever. Uh, my revolver, here it is, check this out. And um, this is number 2676 out of 5,000. And speaking of limited mintage, which I was a year ago, a moment ago, <laughs> it's early, it's early, I'm still still drinking my uh, iced coffee. Give me a break, guys. But uh, so I saw this and I purchased it and I don't know what people are seeing them for online, but I got it for two twenty nine, dollars So I thought that was a good deal, so I grabbed it. And uh, obviously it's way overpriced, you know, for two ounces of silver. I mean, come on, two ounces of silver, 60 bucks. But uh, I don't know, maybe I'm not in tune with the silver prices, but because of the detail and the craftsmanship, this, this is truly an amazing piece of uh, silver right here. So I purchased that and uh, let me scoot this back a little bit and uh, 
There's other types of silver that I will purchase, and it's just basically because of the craftsmanship. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, come on. I mean, this and this. These two coins, the amazing detail and work behind them. I just, ha I can, you know, I don't buy silver, but here it is. I do buy silver. So I couldn't, I couldn't pass these up. This is, I mean, that's ridiculous. It's just, it's amazing how these coins look. And so I had to grab a 20 ounces of this, of these. So, but uh, I could tell you guys this, I'm not really big into purchasing silver and here I am sitting, I don't know, 50 ounces, whatever this is, 20, you know, uh, 50 plus ounces. I'm not really big into purchasing silver. If I am going to purchase silver, it's gonna be something along the lines of this. Uh, the junk silver because I, I like I like the junk silver and that's just the way it is You know, I'm not gonna bring it all out here, but I had a few I was so anyways, so um, That's my little show, you know, I'm still working on uh, Purchasing I'm still working on a uh, stack of the uh, buffaloes. So That hasn't changed. It's gonna take me a minute just because of what's happening right now in the market You know the gold and the silver it's kind of crazy right now, you know, with uh, what's happening. But, you know, maybe I can scroll down a little bit or go out a little bit for you guys. Okay, that go just went into blurry mode. So there we go. <laughs> so here, how about I hold it like this? So anyways, you guys, uh, uh, like I said, I'm still working on getting a full tube of the buffs, so... I don't know when that happens it'll happen and I'll do a video for you guys and uh, this is my vid you know and uh, let me know what you think of the uh, the gun purchase and here you guys go my sleepy lazy dogs there you go and this is a uh, chauffeur 101 I'm out